What's going on, Canes fans? You know what time it is. It's game day! The Miami Hurricanes, 1-0 by the way, currently undefeated in the 2023 live simulated virtual season are taking on Texas A&M looking for a little bit of revenge after taking that L in the real season last year, 17-9. to Guys, are we hype? Or are we hype? Come on now, come on. Let's see some hype. Let's get everybody going. Let's go. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take a seat for just a moment. I'm going to thank everybody who was here bright and early and on time for today's stream. Once we get 100 people in the virtual seats, we're going to kick off and get this thing rolling. Now, Melissa says, Coop, show off the farmer's tan. Mm. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> What's going on, hoodie girl? Good to see you in the building. I know you're at work, this or at least I takes. think you're at work. So uh, it's, it's good to see your face hopping in here help. and saying what's up. Cool. <laughs> Eric, let me fix that for you, my man. Thank you so much for the love and the support. The big five from my man, Eric Birch. Cool. Always getting me hyped up and excited. My man, Eric. What's up, bro? Good to see you in here, man. I'm trying to pin your comment, but my mouse is being all funky. Hold on a second. Come on now. Come on now. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Now we got it. We got you up there, Eric. Appreciate the love, bro. I'll set you up there. Top dono of the night. Boy, my mouse is being all funky. That's not good. We'll make it work either way. Eric, I will sit you atop your throne. Looking pretty up there, I might add. Looking looking good. Looking looking handsome, actually. As a matter of fact. Don't you got I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh Jonathan, what's up, man? Hey, I appreciate you being here, bro. Let's give let's give some shout outs to everybody who was here on time today. My man Cypher, always showing love, always hanging out. The Cajun Kane in the building good to see you this my man we got jordan page thomas to carter you. markel I'm randy i'm going to call you tomorrow about my trip to nashville okay do it do it man you got my number so hit me up uh, if i don't answer listen um you know got you guys know how i am about answering phone calls and returning dms <clears throat> so uh just just spam me and i'll uh, I'll, I'll call you back don't worry about it i got you i got you eric Thank you for another five, my man. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you, man. We'll make that work. We can definitely do it. Uh, we got Phil Romano in the building. We got Crip. Crip says tomorrow's going to be a nightmare for Coop. He can't beat A&M. Moving on. Um, Space Mountain in the building. What's good, man? We got Noel Squad representing FSU. Got to rep your squad, man. Much love, and I actually have a lot of respect for that. Appreciate you being here with Seminole Nation. Uh, who else we got? We got Julian. We got Brandon Frick. He says, we got to win tonight or it's over. This is one of those where this can, you know, affect the remainder of the season. I do think it's so important to get a dub here. I definitely do. I wonder if Coop got his controller fixed. Luckily, I'm not controlling the Canes tonight because if you guys don't know, you know what? Actually, still, let's uh, let's let's not talk about that. Uh, we got Canes today in the building. Go Tigers! Who else we got? We got Mama Coop. She made it. This is what she it made did. it. Uh, we got John Bird Twitter in the building. You. Good friend of I'm mine. Sorry, Bill Kerr, T. Davis. This game is a win. Win as a Knowles fan. Explain. Explain yourself, Chase. What do you mean? Elaborate. Why is this a Why is this a win win for Knowles fans? Why why would that why would it be? Oh, because of the <laughs> Oh, I see. You don't 
Are you the one that drew this on his face? Was, are you the responsible one, Chase? Was this you? This wasn't me. I didn't do it. So either way, I see what you're saying. Miami wins. Jimbo loses. Miami loses. Miami plays FSU, which is better for FSU. And then you guys can laugh at Miami and call us a dumpster fire. I get it. Okay, okay. But for real, did, did you do this? Some Somebody own up to it because it wasn't me. All right? Jeez. Uh, appreciate the dollar ninety nine, Chase. Thank you for the love, bro. Uh, came for life seventy five. Good to see you, my man. Ben Pratt, Scotty Digital made it back. Let's go, bro. Uh, Nick Snyder. If I missed anybody, Nick three hundred five, Canes, Chris came for life. Nick Thorne. I appreciate all you guys. We could just go on and on and on. We're already at over a hundred people in the virtual seats tonight. Uh, so we're gonna kick off here in just a moment. All I want to do, hey Chris Hartman, what's up, bro? Jacob, do you have to shower before it starts? As long as you don't sit beside me, the answer is no. Go sit beside like uh, uh, Cajun Kane or, you know, Jordan might curse you out, but he might tolerate it. I don't know. So, but don't don't sit beside me. Otherwise, you're you're in the clear. You're good to go. So, uh, let's recap right quick before we get into this. <laughs> before we get into this, let me recap. Uh, last week, Miami took on Miami of Ohio, where they did get the dub 41-23. to So the Canes are currently 1-0 in the virtual season. Uh, the Coop Plays version, which happens tomorrow night, guys, 9 p.m. Eastern time, right here on this channel, I will actually control the Canes and play Texas A&M. Last week, let's just say Tyler Van Dyke had a bad day when Coop was controlling him. Uh, I blame Tyler Van Dyke. I blame the PlayStation controller. I also blame the weather and the wind in my room. It kind of like threw it off. Like there was like a breeze coming in the window and it would like move my thumb on the stick. You know what I'm saying? Like whenever I... Okay. Again, moving on. Um... Texas A&M has a new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator this season. Same boat as us in a lot of ways. So it's actually going to be very interesting when this game happens IRL this season. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's at Hard Rock Stadium. We all know it was such a low-scoring affair last year, but it's going to be... These two teams could be va vastly different. So different this season whenever they face off. And we're going to see how the virtual Canes do. Whenever, uh, uh, kind of Nick, kind of, yeah, it was, it was more or less, you know, to make me play that bad, it was, it was close. I, no, nah, definitely not, Cypher. I've definitely, definitely not. So, uh, uh, come to Miami for A&M. That's week two. I'd have to see, Melissa. I'd have to see. But, uh, we are going to make a game. Don't worry. We're definitely going to make a game for sure. So, uh, guys, I don't think we should waste a whole lot more time. Do you? Are y'all are y'all ready to get this thing started or are we sleeping on this tonight? Like, hey Chris, man, maybe I need some coaching. Maybe I need you to come be a mentor and show me I Coop's just so rusty, man. Now, to be fair, I never said that I was good at NCAA 14. If anybody has a clip of me saying I'm good at the game, send it to me on Twitter because I'm pretty sure I told you guys I would run it. And I will. I never said I was good, though. No, I, I, I didn't say that. I never, I never said a thing about that. What's up? What's going on, Jay? Good to see you, man. We got Chris Gaffney in the building. Chris. Chris, who you got tonight? Who you got tonight, bro? I know, I know who it was. Melissa, it was Chris. Chris snuck into my room while I was outside mowing today, and he did this. He he put this little doodle on Jimbo's face. Hundred percent. That is, Coop would not do this. I'm better than this. There's no way I would ever do something like this. It was Chris. It's freaking Chris, man. <laughs> Kane Taylor, let's get a nice warm welcome for Kane, new Kane's fam member. Welcome to the fam. Kane Taylor. Enjoy those Canes fan member only emotes. 
Welcome to the Canes fam, and I appreciate the extra love and support, bro. Can we get a warm welcome to Kane? I appreciate you, man. Thank you for the love. Uh, without further ado, we got 129 people in the building. Let's see some score predictions. I agree. I agree. Let's see some score predictions here for the virtual game. For the virtual game. I want to see some score predictions in the chat. Let me see them. I didn't do it last time. I forgot. I forgot against Miami of Ohio. Come on, come on. Last week was 41 to 23 Canes. I'll give you an idea. Was it Chris? It was Chris. Oh, it's Chris Kane for life. I got you. Palm Beach Kane. It's good to see you, man. I, I appreciate the love. I've been seeing your messages and stuff on Twitter. And much love, man. I appreciate that. I don't I'm bad about not always responding, but I always see them and I always read them. 100 percent Always. Okay, 35, 31. Aggies. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, 17 to 10 Canes. 42, 35 for the U. High scoring affair. 31, 28 Miami. Join with uh, something similar to last season. But 17 to 13. Canes getting the dub at Hard Rock this time. 34, 17, 18. <laughs> I guess it's Friday. I mean, I guess it's technically not too early to start drinking, and it is Friday. So, but I think that goes far beyond just drinking, in my opinion. But uh, uh, it, it is what it is, you know. Uh, do your thing, man. Uh, IMAX 38 to 17, the U. I like it. I like it, man. Chris coming in hot with the 499. Let's get let's kick this thing off, guys. Let's kick this thing off. I, the anticipation is killing me. I can't wait any longer. Let's do this. Coop, let us know how sim season results compared to reality last season. I still need to do that, Chris. You tagged me in a tweet about that, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I commented back and said, great idea, Chris, and then I completely forgot about it after that. That is an amazing idea, and I need to do it. I could look up what it was last year for the sim, but I need to make what I wanted to make was an actual like chart. I wanted to make something that like a visual thing that people could could look at, right, and see. Uh, weren't accurate. I'll just say that. Well, what's crazy though, some of the games were more accurate than people would like to admit. Miami only beat MTSU. Yes, I know you're gonna say Coop. They 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 didn't what beat did. MTSU last year. You're right. But in the simulated season, Miami only won by four. Coop, let us know how sim season results compared to reality last season. I got you. I got you. I think they handled business against the Aggies, though, last year, which obviously some sometimes it's accurate, sometimes it's not. You know? Last season, Miami lost to Texas A&M in the simulated season, 31 to 28. Innovation that Last season, Miami lost the simulated season game. Obviously, the scores weren't accurate, but they did, in fact, lose. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Uh, Chris Kane for life. Re-upping that membership. 40 months. Is that? Wait a minute. Is that accurate? Have you been a Kane's fan member for uh, Kane for life 75? For 40 months? Hold on, let's change this so you guys see CPU versus CPU. Have I even had that as an option for 40 months? Thank you for the love, man. Either way, it doesn't matter. Thank you for the love. I appreciate that, bro. Jeez. Talk about a, a commitment, man. We're Miami like we're we're practically dating. And you can just feel the Honestly, this is what it took for this opening kickoff. To what are you? He just drills. Here we go, guys. I am 80% sure we don't win this game, sad face. What? Oh boy. So the Aggies oh, have shown the courses. Oh 
oh boy, here we go, guys. This guy the here we go. Just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you're come on, let me see some hype for this the one. And the one guy you know who can Week do it two, is Texas A&M already out of have, the gate. This defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, Wigman is the quarterback for the Aggies. I realize there's an argument here for those guys. They kind of bounce back and forth during the spring game. There's a big debate who Jimbo's going to go with, but right now this is what everything seems to go with, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, Chris Gaffney, thank you so much for the $1.99, bro. Thank you for the love. I think the Canes can win this one. I do think the Canes can win this one, actually. Uh, Brandon Freak, nine months. Canes fam. Again. Good play, James. Good play, James. Forcing the third down right here. Thank you for the love, Brandon Frick. Level three, bro. Freaking. The support is unreal. Jay Rivera. New Kings fan member. Big third down right here, guys. He goes out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. Let's go, baby. It's time to cook. It's time to see this Canes offense come out. Three and out for the Aggies. Let's go. I like this start. Thank you for the love, Jay, Brandon, Chris, all you guys. Appreciate you. Ray Ray with the return? He makes Is that Chalupa in the line. building too? Everybody, we, we got the big names now, the in the house blessing us with their presence round. tonight. Let's go. Right here. Drive number they one, touchdown. Let's go. X R seven. Let's go. Quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count. Big time play. Every time he drops back to pass. Let's go, man. Well, listen, you're not slacking. Never. The hoodie girl. Listen, man. The hoodie girl has a lot going on, man. She's got the, the Buckets show. Uh, she's making guest appearances on multiple different channels. I know that the Hoodie Girl has, you know, she's got to pencil me in. The famous Hoodie Girl. I don't care if she doesn't believe it. Thank you so much, Melissa. Seven months, Kane's fan member. Thank you for the love, as always. Parrish, come on. Running hard, running hard. I know, Jordan. She's all over the place. You'd use pin. <laughs> I just appreciate it. Third and four. Come on. Sending it. Tyler Harrell making an impact here. Out of the transfer portal. One of the fastest... Guys, you are going to see on the field for the Canes this season, possibly the fastest. Making an impact already here against the Aggies. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to I can't believe that TVD threw that, pass. Cypher. Honestly, I thought he only threw passes like that to Restrepo. I'm going to be real. Okay, run game's not doing too well so far, though. We need a good solid run game tonight too. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. Is that a Do I smell a touchdown on the first drive of the night for the Canes? Touchdown Miami! The transfers having an impact early in this game already. Harrell with a big time catch and the tight end transfer from Oregon McCormick. 
Miami's bringing right in now, the like touchdown. All three phases working for him so far, Kirk. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense <laughs> right. seems to have a good right, yo. What they're doing out there. Come the on, Mama Coop says siren time. Siren time. To to you. I'm sorry, go ahead. Let's go, D. Miami is dumpster juice. So, Miami is not even a dumpster fire. You're telling me. The ball pops free. Scoops it up. Let's go! What happened? A lot of guys in the defensive backfield. I looked away and for two seconds. On the Who stripped that? I can't tell. Was it Har was it Harrison Hunt? Was it was it Leonard Taylor? Who stripped the ball away? Not much of a problem. Oh baby, we we strike right here. We strike right here. You take a shot at the end zone. Right now, the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring Okay, or don't. Try to come okay. up with an exotic blitz look. Man, Melissa, this is game day for me. This is game day in June. Miami is That's what I try to tell people who've never been here before, Melissa. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. I swear if this is real life, I am going to pass out. Did you get the 2001 Miami roster update? It was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time Turnovers? Turning into points? Is this the same Miami Hurricanes team? Hallelujah! 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 And it goes into the end zone now for a touchback. Okay, though, we can't let up, though, guys. You know Jimbo is living. Flying around as a and you know right we now. we got it we got a, a, a strip fumble recovery score yeah that was 14 points play. in under three minutes so maybe we came to play tonight maybe we did a uh, chase hamilton with another dollar 99 appreciate the love man did you get the 2001 miami roster update i do think i have that uh i do think that that I do. Yep, I think so. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine, my man. Appreciate you, Chase. Got some open field. Texas A and M choosing to to run the ball a little more than I anticipated. Yeah, Nick, they're in panic mode. Now again, guys, you have to remember. Quick disclaimer, right? I know people tell me I don't have to say this, but I do. At the end of the day, ball on the forty seven. This is as close as the playbooks can be given the game came out in 2014. You know, this is not actually Bobby Petrino's playbook. I don't actually have Dawson's playbook. We don't even know what those plays actually 100% are yet. So it's putting it in, it's putting some plays in the game that, you know, are similar formations, you know, trying to get the aggressiveness close, run pass ratio, and the game has to make the plays. It has to pick the plays. Quick pass. So he's tackled around the 23 yard line. This guy has that in You missed a lot, Alex. <laughs> you actually missed a, a lot. To make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver. Right, see, Texas a and man, they're not going to go to sleep down 14 to nothing. From the 23 yard line. First down. Any way to do a real talk during these simulations? I'll be honest. I know I'm the tech guy. I don't think my computer could handle it, Melissa. And they make the stop I need a new computer so bad, but it's like four grand. So, is Daniels hurt? What kind of what what kind of play is this? Is Jimbo is Jimbo reaching the ten yard line? Are him and Petrino? That makes it a two-score game, and they can cut what? that down here if they can get this one in the end zone. Is that desperation that I smell? Players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Oh boy. Okay, they're driving, guys. That brings up second and goal. 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Come on, come on. Let's go! He's tackled around the seven yard line. Let's go! To see this friend. These cornerbacks have the toughest job in Defense college. standing up, That's making a play. Third and goal right here. I'm going to ignore the fact that somebody just got trucked. Get off of his Come on, y'all. This is what it takes. Here we go. I'm sorry, your helmet. Miami sucks like 10 misquotes. Tackle made around the five. Go. Moss comes away with about two Are they going for it or are they kicking the field goal? They're kicking the field goal. One should be makeable. That's a big win after that drive right there. That's huge, guys. Almost got a hand away. on it. And it's Popping the bottles. 14-3. You don't want to put the hand, the ball in the hands of this Miami offense right now, man. We're rolling. Mayhem Matthew, thank you for another dollar ninety-nine, bro. Miami sucks like ten. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Miss quotes. The are punching it into the end zone when they get the chance, and that's been the difference so far in the ball game. Yeah, give them all the credit. It's one thing to move the Thank you for the dollar ninety nine, Matthew. I appreciate you, bro. You have to capitalize on it, and they've done that. Portal so definitely the changed these teams, out. man. Open Coaching changes and transfer portal. You're going to see a very I different game right this year, Nick, and I don't know what that the means. The I'm just saying you're going to see a different game. One thing is I don't expect a 17 to 9. I had to do it, Melissa. I had to do it. He walked into that one. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. Okay. GDD is feeling pretty good. Third and five. That'll make it third and five. Roger, Roger. What coaching change? What do you mean, what coaching change? New offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator? I didn't say that means we're going undefeated. My prediction is seven and five. Throws it to the outside. Finds the junior to the 20. Touchdown! What is happening? Hello? Y'all already know what's happening. Don't use up. Don't use up. Makes it three touchdown passes this half. What? I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. The score now, 21-3. Jimbo's so mad right now. Like they're ready for the kickoff. Coop didn't touch a thing, y'all. He really got a hold of that kick. Here it comes. Rigged. Coop changed the stats. Coop did this. Miami's defense really Honestly, I am surprised well, at this performance so far. Early, but you know I am not kidding. Is start I am Let's see if this very surprised. This for the rest okay, now, Jorn. Okay, Jorn. Unless they do something here, it might turn into one. In the shotgun and five wideouts. The Aggies were driving. They just couldn't finish. It ain't rigged, it's just unrealistic. Oh, I mean, it is a video game. So, I mean, technically everything on your screen right now is just pixels. So. I do think I found a, a workaround for the controller issue workforce. I do think I did. That Coop has controlled him. I'm hiding it under the desk, Cypher. He fights forward to about the 40. Daniels. I know. Picks up two yards with a carry. Is there every, there see, no here's what's funny, Cypher. Here we go, right? If Miami's head. getting dogged, From their Coop own, rigged it. Yard line. Miami's Second blowing down. the team out. Coop rigged it. It's a close game that goes to overtime. Coop rigged it. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Every time. Oh my goodness, it's my nephew. 
This is my nephew, Hayden. What's up, Hayden? Tackle. Hayden, we need to get you into college football. You started getting into basketball. Down, Let's get you into some football. Ball on the 48. It is always my fault. True. The diss tracks. Uh, it's only a matter of time until these simulations the start cursing the games. I think that's where it goes next. Defense is playing hard, Jay. Yeah. Miami's play Miami played well last week. They just started slow. We played one 21 to 3, baby. Miami okay. This is far three. from over. This is far from over. See, and that's what I try to tell people, Jonathan, all joking aside. Jonathan Back said, Coop, this can easily happen, and people doubted Miami when they played Notre Dame. We all saw it happen. Nobody's saying this is going to happen. We're just saying nothing's impossible. If I told you last year, look, I'm about to break the immersion. Look, listen, listen, listen. I know I like trolling. It's funny, and please continue to do it. But last year, listen. Last year in these simulations, Miami only beat MTSU by four points. And you want to know what everyone in the chat said? This is what it take. They didn't say that. I'll tell you what they said. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, your helmet. I think co-op went and jiggled the cables open mouth <laughs> smile. I, j I, j I guess I jiggled something. Whatever it was, it worked. Uh, Scotty Digital, thank you for the $2 dono. I appreciate the love, my man. Thank you, thank you. That's that's not what the people in the chat said, though, okay? The people in the chat said there is no way Miami is only beating Middle Tennessee by four points. This is so unrealistic. Well, guess what? Miami didn't beat MTSU only by four. They lost. So what I'm saying is nothing is impossible. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. People said the simulation was unrealistic because Miami was going to win by at least three touchdowns. Instead, they lost. I'm just saying. Here's a handoff. Defense is really playing hard, though. They really are. You know, and I like the trolling, Melissa. It, the, what gets to me is people that will literally DM me after these simulations, and they actually think that I rigged them. Second and 14. Ball on the 33. A closer game is better for views. So, if anything, I would never rig it to make Miami blow someone out. Because then at halftime, people leave. can't get back to the line. True. I wouldn't see it anyways. Good point. Good point. You said the same thing last Tenth year about Clemson and lost by 30. Oh, yeah. I said it. It's who knows? Who knows? Ooh, I thought we were going to pick that off, too. I am very surprised at this performance right now. I'm serious. No way he makes this. Only to have this defense get to him. Jimbo's reaching right here. They were better off going for it. And he missed it to the right. The ranking is incorrect, Riley. That is one thing I do have to note. The ranking you can completely ignore. What kind of game this will end up being? Looks like he flinched down there on the line. The ranking is All from start. 2014. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. It's all right. First it's all right. The trolls the are welcome. It's fine. That's why I've got it in the scrolling chat. There's a strike complete. Did some of Parrish's gear like break off? A lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. This is where usually Miami would mess something up. With five wide receivers. This is where we would throw a pick or we would fumble. Let's see. He makes his way to about the 42. Steve's around. He pops in and out. Well, you know, you can't just enjoy things, Arthur. That's not how life works. From Somebody's got to complain, it's Arthur. First down. Five wide. <laughs> got his man. Oh, what a hit. 
Well, listen, I don't get in trouble at work. I'll write you an excuse, but I don't I don't think they'll accept it. Ooh. That was a sketchy throw right there. Very dangerous. That was a really good effort. What's up, Cole? How you been? All things considered, I've been okay. I've been okay. I'm gonna go to one of the games this year and wondered if you wanted to link up. Let's do it. Right now it's looking like the Clemson game, Colton. Get to that quick and it's going the other way. There. Is that what you guys wanted to see? Hey, this could potentially turn this football game around. Are you happy now? But if you're the offense and you're on the sideline and you're not feeling good about yourself and you're Coop type of throw, oh, hold up like now. Boy, oh, hold up now. Helmet, Save that for that tomorrow. Field, ready to go. All right. What's, what are the Aggies dialing up? Oh. That could have been a game changer right there. That's one that haunts your dreams. Second down. PI maybe. Right. They bring him down. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. They got nothing open play. downfield, bro. Hit, this defense is really just be feasting. Kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. Bain should be in the rotation. I do think Bain is in there. I think early. And a corner on the interception. We return the favor. Tackle around the 41 yard line. Let's go. Porter. Let's go, man. Porter had a pick six last week. He got burned a bunch of times. But last week, that dude had a pick six. Big interception in this game. Aggie's trying to build up some momentum just to have it taken away by Porter. Love to see it. From the 41 yard line. First down. He sucks, so that's pretty accurate. Who do you guys think Jimbo ends up deciding on? Gains his way to the 33 yard Because, I, man, it, they were saying that the spring game was so back and forth between the two quarterbacks that it really, truly could be either so one. Backfield with five wide receivers. Hey, awesome, Colton. Well, let's link up. We'll make it happen, man. Rose left. The running back's okay. got it. Chaney gets getting some burn. The 33 yard line. Third down already. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Let's go, man. I don't want to see us let up. These can, these games can turn quick. Just throws this one away. Well, Are we in field goal here, range this is a tough Andy? Call. They got stopped on third down, but I'd be surprised if they didn't take another go. shot at this it. This is money. Short. This is money for Andy, y'all. They tried to get a head start oh, there. No. It's still money. Y'all, it's still money for Andy. Once as long as set, he hasn't shaved the stash in 2023, the it's, it's easy. Mario, bro! Andy can make this! I get it. We're trying to pin him deep. We didn't. Joyce has still got a lot of work to do. Texas A&M's offense is so predicated. Another Australian punter. Consider that we've got a couple of quarters left. Coop, do They've another meetup at Canesware. I think we should do a meetup at Canesware and do this our really own tailgate. I think we should do a Coop tailgate. I bring the cardboard cutout of Mario Cristobal, and we do some kind of selfie contest. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. And you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at the drawing board and eliminate some things wow. and maybe add some things. And be able to try to make the adjustments wow. you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. Harvey taking care of business, making this season so count. Business, second and long. Hey, thank you for that link, Cypher. I got your DM uh, with the, the the link of Mario Cristobal and Josh Pate. Really good interview. He steps out at the 15 yard line. About four yards on that play. He took what the defense gave You'll be in green line. I think okay. we should we should do some type of tailgate. 
And I thought about telling people to take a picture with Mar I'll, I'll be like, Mario Cristobal will be at our tailgate. And he will be. Just the, the cardboard cutout version. -yard line. And what I'm going to have people do is take a selfie with him, upload it to Twitter with like hashtag, hashtag Joseph Coop or hashtag Mario Cristobal, hashtag something, and we'll do like a giveaway for everybody who takes a selfie with Mario. Joseph, Look at Ray it Ray. Down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Woo! The Hurricanes look almost unstoppable in that first quarter. And Herbie, since then, it's not so much that True. Way. They've been sluggish here in recent uh, series, but I think it's important. They Good still point, have Melissa. We're, we're going to do it at a game. We're going to do one. Itself, and somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. What's going on, Sage? Good to see you, bro. DVD with a little pump fake. Sending it. The defender had okay, it he's getting it. A, he's getting a little ballsy and trying to force an interception. it. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the Kane's coaches he looking wants to for play some wide for the Panthers game. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver because you can't catch the ball as a defensive. I think he just had too much momentum, Tom. Tom, too much momentum. And they get nice yards okay, we're in throw. field goal range for Andy, 100%. Even if we don't convert here. Yeah, TVD's accuracy has been on point. I'm really impressed, Jonathan. We got those first game jitters out of the way. Dawson's offense. Oh, boy. We are not in field goal range for Andy any longer. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make You got those first happen. game jitters out. TVD's feeling, you know, a lot more comfortable. Like, like, he can take command of this offense. And it's showing in game two of the virtual season. All right, Joyce, pin them deep. Come this on point, now, if he gets it down at the wants, one. He really Heck, the I'll take the five. This football game. Okay, okay. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, I know. He was hot for a minute. Eight for it's nine, then went one, the one for six. Quarter. We got a lot of football left, but I got to say, the Aggies' offense is struggling, though, bro. Like they're going to have like. And they make the stop at the 18. Well, I, I think calling the place, you've got to be We're going to have to see a sense of urgency. Like, I know it's only the second quarter, the but they're still run, running the ball a your lot. To even get up to the line of scrimmage. You've got to do something to make Put it Andy pay. as punter. I've asked him about punting, and Andy said, no way. This is a great time to go play action and try to throw the ball right. Like, why are they not being more aggressive? At about the 19-yard line. I don't know, but I'm telling you, bro, the Nuggets are going to win the championship. I'm sorry. I don't want that to be the case, but it's true. Wide open, bro. Wide open. It was only a matter of time. All right. Moose making plays. First down. Big time throw right there for the Aggies. So let's see how the defense they needed responds that. now. It's first down and ten. Closing in on under two minutes in the first half. Here we go. Fires that quickly uh, to the tailback. That was a Andy's heck of a play. That's a gain of ten on the play. No, and Tom, I actually agree. That's that's really well said as a matter of fact. Aggie struggling seems pretty realistic. This is actually an interesting matchup next season in that respect. Two struggling programs with overrated coaches. All things considered, what happened last year, 100%. Very well said. That's keeping it real, Tom. That's being honest. The Aggies have to score here, and I'm not talking three. They need a touchdown going into the half. Quick out to his receiver. He's still going. What a play, and that is first and goal. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion. Oh, of course, Tom. I'm going to be running my mouth. <laughs> just the same. I'm predicting seven and five, and I'm still going to be running my mouth. You best believe it. That's what Miami Hurricanes fans do. Two yards there. We run keeper. our mouths. Nice like, we're not Canes fans if we don't talk trash. Here's the eighth play it the wouldn't series. be fitting. 
Okay. All right, y'all. Here we go. Defense! Defense! Right here. Let's make a stand. One yard line, baby. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick throw. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the enthusiasm and for humoring me, Jordan. You have Manny Diaz tackling mode on. Don't bring, don't bring that man up. He's still rotting away in the backyard. And he hits the PAT. Now, now that uh, after the erosion has happened. And I think I've got through the fingers. I think the lawnmower is now Looks progressing like to the arm. And he got all of this okay, 21 to 10. 11 point ball game. Let's we'll see if the Canes the can put up some touchback. points in roughly Third under one minute. This we got all three really timeouts. Yeah, Let's walk away with some points. Uh, Coop in your and seven and five prediction, which way you well. pick Things this game. I have at the it's moment, Tom, this offense, so we'll I have the Canes hold. losing this game. It could change as it gets closer. A lot of that is just due to Miami's history against SEC opponents and how bad we were last year. Massive coaching changes, huge additions from the transfer portal, but we're still not proven. So it's very tough to come in here and say I'm guaranteeing a dub against the Aggies, given, again, our history against SEC opponents. I think we could win it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. I think we'll be the better football team on paper, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to see as that one gets closer. That's fair statement too, Nick. That's fair. All right, y'all. Content with going room, into the locker room. Over. Twenty-one Miami's to ten. Front by eleven. Canes fans thought this was about to be a blowout. The Aggies fighting back, trying to make this a game tonight. We played thirty minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football Fourteen. What's up, pull up podcast? Show. Presented by Nissan. Good Innovation. to see you, bro. We'll see this little sucks. halftime show. I'm sure they're going to try to sell us a Nissan. Everything that just happened in your game. All week long, when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up the margin. I got you. I got you, Tom. I got absolutely it, a great opportunity verbally for assaulted for my seven and five away. prediction. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a Kings close game. fans were not happy with it. To be on the right side and making some big plays. And... You I'm don't just trying to be honest. Know, Reese, if that's I'm, I'm just trying to say this half, is how so I feel right now. This lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't man. make mistakes in the second half. Yeah, Aggies, that half. big right pass, now, going, man. I'm pretty excited what was that, like a 30 or 40 yarder? That's it for us here. The 2014 the Nissan, the man. Yeah, are Nissan's good cars? They're not, are they? Aren't they trash? You got to go with like a Toyota or a Honda. Something like that, right? Aren't Nissan's a garbage, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. So, guys, kicking off the second half. Of, oh, you have a Nissan, Melissa? Okay. Well, uh, it, it, is it a trash car or is it a good car? I personally don't know. I, I thought Nissan's were bad. I don't know. What's going on, Javier? It's good to see you, my man. Uh, I, I gotta I gotta give uh, a quick halftime spiel like we do each and every game. Just giving a shout out to everybody who is here for this simulation. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, whether you're a Canes fan or not. Also, to let you know, if you are enjoying these simulations, you can feel free to show some extra love and support to the channel by sending a super chat. You can type in a custom message. It'll read it out loud to me and everyone else in the stream. Everyone can, you know, laugh. And have a good time, because I'm sure all of you are so funny. Never required, however. Don't feel obligated to do so. I'm just putting it out there if you enjoy the streams and the simulations. Um, Miami winning, going into the half. Aggies trying to fight back. Miami 1-0 so far in the season. Let's do this. 
excellent kick. Nissans are a good car. Okay. I was not aware. And it goes into the end zone. You have a rogue. Okay, touchback. that's just a cool sounding car too. Like that's a class in World of Warcraft. So they're just about set so. to get the game going again. Now I do have one other announcement. Wait, wait, I gotta break the immersion. One other announcement, okay? I said I wasn't gonna do this. I do have very good news for each and every person in this stream tonight. Last week, Chalupa Batman and Miss Chalupa were frying up bacon while watching this live stream. I'm very excited to announce that tonight, Chalupa said he was making bacon for everyone in the stream. Bacon for everyone. So... I just wanted to let you guys know that he he was getting that started in the second half of the game. So here we go. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. I'm pretty hyped for it, Jordan. Actually, I love bacon. So true. They come out on an empty backfield. True character in X-Men. Big run from Paris. Look at that. Bring him down. The lanes right opened the up here by the offensive line. There's nothing line. more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Big time run from Paris right there. Okay, little. Throws complete. He's got Harold is just a baller, bro. Down at the 39. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good Such a big time a addition Most times to this don't offense. Need much more than that. You're watching the Heat game? That's your celebration for this sim? Let's go, man. I hope the Heat it's can pull it off. Hand. I don't Ball like the, the Nuggets. What's his name? Joke, joke or something? I, I don't know his name. Djokovic, I think. That dude can... That was a bad throw. That was a bad throw, a man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Backs. Calm this it down, TBD. That man can be at half court, close his eyes, and throw it behind his back, and it will find a way to go in. Got in position, knocked the football away. I still don't know how to say it, Melissa. Throws a laser across the middle. Nikola Jokic. Jokic. Where was Tyler last week? I don't think the coaching staff played him in the first game. I don't think he got any snaps. And see, that's what's going to be interesting is, again, a lot of people see some of these guys as instant impact players. Guys that, you know, are going to get snaps right out of the gate, and they might not. They still got to earn it. You know, you come in, and sometimes there's maybe some upperclassmen ahead of you, some guys that have been putting in some work. So what happens is you got to show it on the field. you got to earn that spot. You know, you don't know how some of these guys might practice, uh, but they come in, think about Colby Young. Didn't get many snaps last year. We end up in a position where he has to play. He comes in, makes some big-time plays, and the coaches say, wait. Under the lights, this guy is a baller. We got to play him more. And then he's kind of just flourished since then, you know? It happens. Floater. It's in. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. Touchdown, Miami. Man, like, Tom, I don't know. I don't know if you had the foot in or not. When this video uploads, I want y'all to go back and go on YouTube and slow that one. down to half speed or .25 speed, and I want you to this see if Ray Ray got a foot in. For a touchback. I'm not going to argue the fact that they didn't challenge it. There's gotta be some I'm just sense of saying. I don't know for sure. Right Maybe he did. They don't have the Maybe I go back and watch it and say, yeah, he was definitely in. I hope so, Scotty. Oh, they're airing it out. The defender had his hands on Come on, Devontae. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he got to pick those, bro. Because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. So it's second and ten. <laughs> okay. Fair. Edward has a good point, guys. Oh, 
Makes it out to uh, guys, Edward, Edward's actually right. It must be rigged. Restrepo only has only been targeted like once or twice. Something's not right here. We love XR7, man. Good dude. He's taken down right around the 40. Good, good guy. That makes it first and 10. From their own 42 yard line, it's first down. We need to bring them back on the, the channel. Andy and uh, Xavier. And they make the stop around the 46 yard line. They both line. told me anytime they'll hop on. I was thinking about doing a a stream. I'll make this short because we're trying to watch the game. I was thinking about doing a stream where I bring in Kane's fan members and Kane's fan members can take turns asking some of the players questions. So Kane's fan members get some one-on-one -on -one time with the players and we'll do it live like on a stream. I think that could be really cool. That would be like a special perk that Kane's fan members would get. Wow. Devonte out of nowhere. Not allowing this explosive freshman. You know, that's always my goal, Arthur, is to give people experiences here that they can't get anywhere else. You know, we don't like to do things like other people do. There's always going to be overlap. We all talk about the same team. And they'll look to convert here on another. But I want it to be a different type of experience here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He dropped it. Oh, he dropped it. Did that just... That, I think that sucked any little bit of life out of the Aggies right there, guys. That was a first down. Where do you think Frenny going to be in the rotation? Seemed to have a lot of hype for him. The thing is, the I think Freeney really is a guy that can earn some some play time this season. I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. But he's going to have to fight for it. I think it's a big time it Juco transfer. He brings a lot of hype. There it is. There's that connection. TVD to Restrepo. But I, I think that it might take a little bit of time for him. I think it might be similar to the Colby Young situation that we talked line. about. First I could down. be wrong, though. Could be wrong. But you're right. Tape don't lie. Yeah. And he's got George. It. Good tackle. He was George. the last player in defense. TVD is dialed in and very comfortable right now. I agree, Melissa. And big He's got the one the interception that looked like he kind of tried to force it, but he looks very comfortable right now. O-line's giving him plenty of time. Receivers are catching the ball. Run game has been okay when we've needed it to. Parrish has been running hard. What are you talking about, Edward? What are you talking about? As I just said, Parrish has been running hard, and he, he a two-yard loss. He started out rushing the passer, and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Page. Second down at twelve. Those should pop here, up here in just a moment. Y'all listen. Some of you just messed around and got gifted a, a Canes fan membership by no other than the Jordan Page. Kane behind the camera. Kane with the camera. I said it wrong. The man gifts five Canes fan memberships and I, I say the wrong thing. Oh my gosh. With a quick throw. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being Jordan, penalized Let's see who those five lucky Canes fans are. Call After Andy puts here. in this field goal, it makes it 31 to 10. He gets it up, and he got it. Let's go, Andy. Let's go, bro. 
Jordan Page, man, thank you. I, I forget that that's Miami even a thing. You literally just off. grew the family. Mrs. Off, Coop got on one. one. <laughs> Jordan, and it goes into gifting Canes fan memberships to Canes today. Go Tigers. Once you are a Canes fan Let's member, you're officially a Canes a fan. So, Edward, welcome to the family. The you are now a Canes a fan. Game. I expect you to, to... I'll give you 24 now. hours to this empty out all of your Clemson going. gear and replace it with Miami and stuff. Melissa screen. and I will help you. So, don't worry about it. We'll make it happen. Soggy Supreme. Riley, welcome to the team, bro. And Mrs. Coop. Dorn, what a great group of people that you that you get to go to. Look at Brian. <laughs> Two of those people aren't Kane's fans, Jordan. It's amazing. Are oh, they getting Play desperate? Action. Nothing open, man. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Corners just playing lights out. From their own 36 yard line. Second We're up 21, three. man, and they're playing like it's zero to zero, which makes me really excited. Decides to slide. Yeah, man, don't it look good, Cypher? That U logo next to Briley's name. But, oh, mm, mm, mm. Right, we, we got to convert them, Jordan. That was a strike right there. Big I gotta give him that. He's immediately pushed out of bounds. We're not out of the woods yet. Why is the picture quality so bad? Check your, um, it's probably set to like 240p or 160p or 480. Click the little cogwheel and change it to 1080. It might be set to auto and your internet bumped it down, Ralph. From the 30 What's up, Cajun Kane? First down. BW Feldy. Good to see you, man. These simulations always hype me up for the real the season. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the cover. I know, Jacoby. I know, bro. I think Kane's fans would be ecstatic with this. This, this could springboard us into a successful season. I realize the Aggies weren't good last year. Guys, the Aggies went five and seven. Same record as Miami. From the 24 yard line. But. It's still an SEC opponent, and you know when's the last time Miami beat an SEC opponent? Oh boy, this ain't over, y'all. Well, they are driving. This ain't over. What's up, Mick, Mick Mo? What's up, Forza? Yeah, let me know, Ralph. That should fix it for you. If they score here, man, this ain't this over. This is the ninth play of this drive. I'm telling you. Can you feel the ball? Boy, what great play recognition by this lineman. He saw the runners coming. Jordan Page strikes again. From the I know what Jordan's helping. Second, second goal. Five more gifted Canes fan memberships. Courtesy of Jordan Page. Kane with a camera. Jordan was hoping and praying that was going to go to some more Clemson and FSU fans. He was hoping and praying when he hit that send button. Oh! You! You got to calm down with that. Oh! That's a game changer. Like, I realize that that holds them to a field goal, guys. And honestly, I don't know. The aggressiveness is tuned to like roughly what it should be, Edward. Again, it's up to he the really CPU to call kick. the plays that are there in the playbook. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes had that hot hand. We're not out of it, though. We're not out of it, though. Jordan Page, gifting a Canes fan membership to Cajun Kane. 
Let's go, Jonathan Reed. Scotty Digital. I know he's happy about that, Jordan. You're putting smiles on people's faces tonight, Jordan. Tom DeMay and Christian Isbay. Good group of people right there, man. We just can't get conservative, though. Right? Like, we're milking the clock a little bit, trying to run the ball a little more. Let's keep pushing, man, because 31 to 13 still scares me a bit. Bill, my man. Let's get a welcome also to a new Canes fan member. Strike to his receiver, no good. Oh, guys, Restrepo dropped a pass from Tyler Van Dyke. They come out in a five-wide set. Something is wrong in the universe. Okay, O-line holding up for us. Good job, Parrish. Good freaking job, man. The Aggies had an opportunity there for an open field tackle. Force a force down, probably a punt, get the ball back. Couldn't make it happen. Parrish made him miss to keep this drive alive. Let's go. Hey, what's going on, Forever Kane? Good to see you, bro. Jordan, next time, I think that, obviously, no prep. Listen. You've gifted 10 memberships. I'm just saying, maybe next time, no squad is in the list. <laughs> because that U would look just so good. It would be beautiful. All right, y'all. 31 to 13. The Canes driving. Let me see him. Here it is. Here he goes. No squad. No squad. No squad. No squad. Oh, he didn't get one. Joe Page. He didn't get it. He Jorn tried. Jorn tried, man. Gifting Kane's fan membership to Mick Mo Workforce Freebie. We bought it. Phil! Boy. Let's freaking go, man. We got Phil back we in the fan, Jorn. Aaron Connor and Opto Kane. We him, boy. All really good people. We bought him. Big boy. time Kane's fans. And now Kane's fan members. Welcome to the fam, guys. Enjoy the Kane's fan member only emotes. There you go. Look at that. You got the U beside your name. Kane's fan member stuff that's coming up. Exclusives. Y'all be sure to thank Jordan for that. Gifting 15 memberships tonight. That's big time. Thank you for the love, Jordan. Thank you, thank you, my man. I know that these people appreciate it. And that just means growing the family. Quite literally. Hey, yo. Where's it at? Hello? 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 Where's the hype? Where are the fours? Oh, I missed them. I missed them. There they are. There they are. Let me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there they are. There they are. Okay, okay. I, they, they, I, I, that was on me, guys. I, I had to scroll up. I had to scroll up. Okay. Okay. I got you. Y'all were doing it. Y'all, y'all were doing it. Uh, your score looking accurate. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I'm going to show this one more time as we go into the fourth quarter. I feel like everyone needs to see this. I don't know what happened to his eye. I don't know if there's some kind of growth going there. You should probably see a doctor about it, though. Really not even sure if that's his tongue or if that's uh, a, um, uh, I know I'm not even going to say it out loud, actually. You know, you can use your imagination. So, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Javier, re-upping. 
Canes fan membership. Appreciate the love, Javier. And Tyler! Action here again in the fourth Man, quarter. look at him dropping the U. Dropping the logo. Y'all, welcome all these new Canes fan members, for real. We grew the family by like 20, around 25 people tonight. Use all in the chat. Second down, and they're going to need about three. There it is. Look at it. Down. Oh, it looks good, bro. Oh, it looks good. Of hurricane warning flags. I don't know. Aggie's defense might be gassed, y'all. I'm just saying. With the emote, I'm pinning you. I'm putting you up there. It looks good, Tyler. Soggy. This is the eighth play of this drive. Briley. I might have to leave Briley up there, bro. I'm sorry. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. And he tackles him. It just looks too good, man. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. I still got the same number, Jonathan. Yeah. Just send me send me a text. Send it on over. Come on, Coop. Are you going to do this tomorrow? That's the plan, Doug. That that Miami-Ohio game was a warm-up for Coop. All right? We were making a comeback there at the end. Coop lost 31-28 by three points. I was down like 21 going into the fourth quarter. And we made a comeback that fell short. Onside kick, we couldn't recover. I would burned my timeouts. It is what it is. It's in the past. We got to look ahead, not behind. You know? Oh, oh! He's under pressure. That's a great tackle at the 37. TVD almost got blindsided. Number 10 whiffed, but then number three cleaned it up. Mm. They'll line it up almost to come back. Nobody cares about an almost come back, right? Come on, Andy. Come on, Andy. Mario didn't trust you earlier. I trust you, bro. It has the distance, and he hooked it left. Every time you have a chance to finish a drive with points, you've got to capitalize. He missed. Time, they couldn't come through. Oh! So they're just about set to get the game going again. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Steps out of bounds at the 44-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. I believed in Andy, bro. I almost wore my Andy Borregala shirt today from his merch store. I almost rocked it tonight. At about the 49. I know. Look at it, Jordan. All the green names that use in the chat. We'll get it to a point to where everybody has a U by their name even if they're not a Canes fan. So it looks like it's all Canes fan representing. Oh, huge sack. That's a big time play right there. Harvey with such a big afternoon. Coop, I've been hiding at work for over an hour. Are you under your desk, Melissa? As long as you have in like earbuds, or, you know, something like that, or you've got the volume down low, surely you can make it five and a half more minutes, right? Surely, without getting caught. Hey, Ralph, what's good, man? Coop, I want to take the opportunity to congratulate you on your channel. Wouldn't be here without you, Ralph. So, thank you. I've watched you for years, just never had a reason to get in the chat, but was enjoy watching too much. We have a blast, the These are so much fun. Another big time sack. Harvey, four tackles, four tackles for loss. Four sacks. Is that even Malik Curtis getting in on the action? What? Harvey is eating tonight. We should have broke out the spoon. Texas A&M forced a punt here like down 31 to 13. Fourth and 25. Coming up on five minutes left in the game. They're grasping at straws here. Looking for the corner. Joseph. That Aggie's defense, everybody's going to need some oxygen, bro. 
They're struggling. Jimbo's pacing back and forth. He's probably already through the headset. He's making the right reads. He's delivering the football and rhythm. But for real, thank you for the kind words, Ralph. And I just, again, right now, this guy my my job is to entertain. This defense have to make some kind of adjustment. A lot of people ask me what I want this channel to be, what I'm trying to do. I'm just a crazy Miami Hurricanes fan that loves to entertain and put a smile on people's faces. That's literally it. I want y'all to walk away from my streams and videos and say, dang, I had a good time. It's second and seven. Ball on the 43. That's my goal, and if I can do that, I'm happy. I don't know if Bain has played much this game. He's in the rotation. So nice run up the middle. That's a D six on the play. You got in your AirPods in the Miami case. Let's go. I'll be more quiet, Melissa, just in case. Big third down right here. This could put them out of it. Bro, I think it's over. We're past midfield. The Aggies do have three timeouts. I'm not saying it's over till that clock First says zero, but I'm feeling comfortable. I'm feeling comfortable, man. He throws. Intercepted. Woo! Boy, I think I jinxed it. Listen, guys, I think I jinxed it. I'm actually going to say it this time. Safety. Safety that time just sitting back Bro, there looking it, at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. I 100% jinxed it. We got John Bird in the building. John, I'm doing okay, all things considered, man. The important question is how is John doing? Is John off this weekend? I know John works hard to provide for his family. You getting some time off? Open man, quick strike, and he can't. You deserve it, man. You deserve it, bro. Huge drop right there. It seems like the Aggies just don't have guys that can can make big plays in th these moments like this. Slings it. There have been multiple drop passes by Aggies receivers or Aggie receivers. One of my put S in there. Uh, by Aggie receivers in just crucial moments, man third and long where it would be a conversion like big time moments where they're trying to mount a comeback here throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete i know i should i should know better offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense anticipating pass here Got a receiver and he oh boy what's jimbo and petrino gonna dial up third down now they need to get here we go line. I know. Jonathan, Jonathan, they ain't listening, bro. They're not listening. He got that in. He got that in. They're still driving. That's good decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go. Yeah, I know. With the sliders and stuff, Edward, it's set to. It's very hard for receivers to make catches. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Very difficult. Wide receivers in the formation. He makes it out to the 20-yard line. No. Okay. Okay. Second down and nine to go. No, you're working 12-hour shifts. Been up since 4:30 this morning. Hey, John. Hand off, and he's not gonna get back John to always grinding, always working hard for the fam. Appreciate you for stopping this in and saying hey and putting run. that big fat all caps go Canes, John. My man's Less probably exhausted. In the game. Working the weekend. Goes a laser Appreciate you, John. And he's tackled at the 11. That makes it first and 10. And this is fixed. First down, 10 yards to go. All on the 11. <laughs> They'll go with a run once again, and he hits him hard at the they nine. Have, and they have guys. After look, a short game. yeah, the quarterback better get these guys. This is still a ball game. I'm legit still worried here. I'm not kidding. 
Here's the 12th play of the drive. I know, Jordan. Jordan, you need a vacation. Five you and your wife need to go on a vacay, Jordan. Another, look at that. Another huge drop. But you don't want to big go time there drop right there. In your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. This Ow. is what it takes. To what are you? I'm sorry, bro. What's up, bro? I've been watching you since 2017 and always love your content and will always love our hurricanes. We're also both Libras and we all know it's the best sign. 2017 is when I started the channel. So you are a day one? We're talking an OG in the building. Meditate for life. Taking over the top donation spot, man. Thank you for the love. And Libras are the best, aren't we? 100%. Like, we're the coolest people. Like, we're the most handsome. Like, you know, eh, you know, you know, I don't usually talk signs, but yeah, man, yeah. I, I agree. I agree with everything you said. Thank you for being an OG, man. Thank you. Uh, sticking around. If I haven't scared you off with some of the diss tracks and some other things that I've done, I you must be in it for the long haul. So I appreciate you, my friend, taking over the top donation spot of the night. Meditate for life. I appreciate the love, my man. Thank you for the 10. Oh, here we go. Now it's going to turn into a competition. Who's better? Listen, Meditate for Life just just said. They just said. I'm just saying. Thanks for the love, man. Hope you've been doing well. Fourth and eight. What's, what is Jimbo doing here, guys? You have to go for it. He's not taking the points and kicking the field goal, right? Here we go, y'all. Here we go. This is the game. Here it is. And it's almost picked off. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him a possession. Devontae Brown. Stretching out his body. Leaving it all out there on the field. The transfer. The impact the of some of these transfer the portal players. Do than they did on their defense played very well turnover. tonight. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Big time game from the defense. You just sent it, Jonathan? Let me make sure it came through. It ain't over. I mean, oh, it, I mean, it's over. It's over. But like, listen, man. A fumble and a scoop and score. Like, he makes it to the 18-yard line. There it is, bro. There it is. I'm going to show him on the stream, Jonathan. When this game's over, I'm going to show him. I got a pick with my man, Jonathan, at the FSU game from last year. Oh, we going to do him like that. That's what I'm doing, Javier. I'm changing the coding. I pause it and I pretend to talk to you guys so I can hurry and change the coding. Ooh. Okay, they're going to call a timeout he here. Right around the 16-yard line. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down Oh, situation. no, Chris. Oh, no. Oh, boy, guys. Joyce. Let's Joyce. answer Chris's question. Let's so see some participation. I'm sorry, go help me. What okay, of Kane's why are they not calling a timeout? A Jimbo knows it's over. We had M game this year. Jimbo is actually tucking his tail and just calling it at 31 to 13. He's already on he's already on the bus or the plane. <laughs> he gave up. <laughs> He gave up. This one's in the books, and our final score, 31-13, Miami. TVD had a heck of a day. 
the defense straight feasted. The Aggies had no answer. They had no answer, man. Last year in the virtual game, the Aggies beat Miami. This year, the Canes come out 31 to 13. Now let's answer, let's do two things. First off, guys, I have a picture to show you of myself and Jonathan Flagg at the FSU game. But first, I do want to address Chris Gaffney's question here. Thank you, Chris, for the 499, by the way. Much appreciated. He says, what percent of Canes fans would start predicting a natty if we had this score in the A&M game this year? If you want the realistic version, I would say like 50%, 50 to 60%, because they're gonna forget that Texas A&M was five and seven last year, Chris, and they're just gonna say, we finally beat an SEC team. It's time. Then they'll start the, we want Bama. We want Georgia. We <laughs> no, this wouldn't prove anything to me other than Hopefully, we're headed in a positive direction. And like we always say, we're beating teams that we should beat. Because Texas A&M, depending on how they perform this year, is a team that we should beat. Should. Should. I don't know. I think, I think Petrino might be washed up. I think he's getting too old. He's, what, like 62 years old? I think that Petrino and Jimbo actually might butt heads a little bit. I know that Jimbo hired him as his new offensive coordinator. But I think as the season progresses and if it starts to crumble and it's a lot more of the same and they have some issues and they're not winning games, I think the Jimbo Petrino thing might be a disaster. I could be very wrong on that. You can clip it and save it for later if you want to. I don't know how I feel about it. It's a good thing for us, though, so I'm not mad at it. McCain's taking care of business 2-0 in the virtual season so far. 31-13. to I do got to show y'all this picture, though. Hold up, hold up. Me and my man, Jonathan Flagg. And that's going to be showing you the picture on my phone. Man, I tried to link up with as many of you as possible at the FSU game. And look at it. Jonathan is rocking the fill the sleeves from Air, uh, the Aaron Feld shirt. That's freaking sick, bro. I'm rocking the, the Miami pipe tee. He's got the fill the sleeves fee. Fee. Listen to me. T. Fill the sleeves T. Literally. Yeah, man. Yeah, re really awesome, dude. Man, so many of you guys are just this as cool a people take. in real life as you are in these streets. That's what it's about, man. On the side of your it's help. a family. I think 50% plus of Canes fans would look at a 9 or 10 win season as a failure. If we had this score actually happen. Ooh. Ooh. So you're saying, okay. So you're saying that if we were to beat the Aggies in this fashion, that they're, they would expect 11 and 1 or 12 and 0 because we beat the Aggies 31 to 13. Okay. Yeah. No, I actually, I 100% agree. I, and by agree, I don't mean with thinking that that should be the record. I agree with the percentage of about half of Canes fans. Yes, because of if Miami were to beat Texas A&M game two, 31 to 13, do you want to know what would happen? I can show you. I, I literally have a visual that I can put up on the screen. I hope Jonathan was still here. Jonathan, you're still here, aren't you? Check your surprise message earlier. Wait, wait, wait. In the in the chat? Here, let me show you the visual. I'm going to look for Jonathan's thing. Don't lie. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's even orange. Not me, though. I'm positive. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm positive. I like the direction we're taking. I like the Dawson and Guidry hire because I think they have something to prove, and I think they're going to work hard. They're not a one and done. They're not necessarily a big-time name, but I think that's a good thing. I think that's what we need. This won't be me. 
But if this happened, this would be uh, 50% or more of fans. I agree. 100%. Thank you for another five, Chris. I appreciate the love, man. Always bringing up those tough, difficult questions that people don't want to answer or they're too afraid to answer. And I love it. We don't back down. I'll answer any of them. When we took that pick, I was 315 pounds, but getting ready just like our canes are for the season, I'm currently at 256, probably be 230. But, bro, wait a minute. You've lost over 60 pounds since the FSU game last year? That was in November, right? Bro. Bro. That is huge. You've been working out the last four months? Holy smokes, man. Nah, congrats on that for real, bro. Like, I'm not even playing. That. <sighs> Dang, that that's a that that's a lot of weight loss in that amount of time. Like, that took a lot of work, man. That took a serious amount of work. Whether it be diet or just working out or a combination of the two, lifestyle change stuff, whatever it may be. That's something that a lot of people would not be able to accomplish. That's big time, man. And I, I am very serious when I'm like clapping it up for you for real, man. I know you've got it like everything is just you feel better, right? Like it even affects you mentally, not even just physically, but also mentally. It's so big. So big, man. Cheers to that. Cheers to that, Jonathan. That's awesome, bro. Freaking love to hear it. Uh-oh, we got another one. Is there is there another question? What is this? Let's see. Nope, nope. I'm going to let the robot lady read it, Chris. I'll show the score one more time before we wrap this thing up. We grew, guys, 15 more Canes fan members added courtesy of Jorn Page. A lot of you guys re-upped your Canes fan membership. Uh, some new people became, became Canes fan members on their this own. This is what it takes. To where do you? Crazy night, man. Canes got the hell, dub man. against the Aggies. Pretty sure 80% of Canes fans lost 10 pounds the weekend that we played FSU just from throwing up so much. <laughs> uh, what are you talking about, Chris? Uh, we didn't play Florida State last year. I don't. Uh, I don't remember that. Who? Flor. Flor. Who? I don't remember. I don't remember that. I have no idea what Chris is talking about, guys. Uh, thank you very much, though. However, Chris, for the four ninety nine, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, don't don't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> six days a week and was doing two a days, eating healthy and most definitely feel better. Appreciate the love. Yeah, man. Look at the love in the chat, Jonathan. Like man, listen, it's the, the fam is is hype. The fam is hype. For sure. Listen, guys. Okay. Miami in the virtual season takes down the Aggies 31 to 13. I do I do agree that I think the CPU made some questionable decisions with the play calling, but again, all I can do is the playbook is there. It's as close to what can to what they think it can be. I don't make the playbook. It's not me. It's the people who do the, the revamped mod. This is what they have in there for them. I double checked and looked at like the aggressive, uh, the pass run ratio, all that good stuff. And it seemed pretty accurate. But at the end of the day, the CPU has to call the right place. It has to make the right decisions. It's a game from 2014. Sometimes... People question, you know, think they think the CPU should have done this, it should have done that. It's the CPU. I have no control over it. Coop's hands are off the controller. If you do think I rig it, then. Shut up, bitch. Oh my God. Oh my God. I get nothing out of rigging it. There, There is literally no benefit to a, a real talk. Like, we're talking to the, the ones that are here after the game is finished up and we're just chilling. Real talk, there is no benefit to Coop rigging it. 
as I said, if I rigged Miami to beat everyone, people leave at halftime. If I rig it for the other, all the other teams to win, people are like, this isn't what would really happen. There would be no, there would be no benefit at all. Um, and I, I add that again, I like the playful trolling, but I'm just saying again, for those that actually think that's what I'm doing, I do, however, have to show you guys the reason why I don't talk about the Florida State game from last year is because of this, which I tweeted this out. This was from my seat last year. I'm going to make all of you throw up again. I apologize, but I had to hear it, so you have to hear it as well. This was from my seat, I think, in the fourth quarter last year at Hard Rock, at the Florida State game. <sighs> Do I really have to show this? <sighs> Fine. This was from my seat last year. Oh, good. <laughs> they freaking came in and took over Hard Rock. I was sick to my stomach. I sat there and I stayed for that entire game. I spent over probably $1,500 to $2,000 on that trip. Came down to Miami. Awesome. So fun doing the meetups, hanging out with everybody. We did the Canesware meetup. We did all this stuff. We tailgated. We had a good time. I have removed that game from my memory. There is a lot of it I genuinely, not even messing with you guys, do not remember. When people ask me about it, I don't remember most of the stuff from that game. I remember that pass early on from Travis that they took to the house and made it 7 nothing. And I saw those Miami Hurricanes players hanging their hands Hands on their hips. Nobody pissed. Nobody making a big deal about it. And I knew in that moment, seven to nothing in the first quarter, it was over. I never want to go to Hard Rock again and hear Florida State fans doing that stupid, stupid. And then to top it off, the guy that I sat beside, you guys remember, don't you? I'm going to show you one more thing. We're just small talking for a moment here to wrap this thing up. The guy that I sat beside was drunk off of his booty. Oh, this guy was plastered. And he was a Florida State fan. And we made that bet at the beginning of the game that if Miami lost, I would do the chop. You guys remember that? This dude trash-talked me the entire freaking game. Let me show you his face one more time. And I told him, I said, bro, you're going to be on YouTube. I was like, I, I was like, I, you know, I'm, I'm not like a famous person or anything, but I was like, you're going to be on YouTube. And I was like, thousands of people are going to see this. And he was like, put me on there, bro. He's like, put me on there. I want those Canes fans to see my face. I was like, okay. Um, oh, gosh. Um, I'm going to show it one more time. I really don't want to. I have a lot of clips of this guy. I actually have way more footage than what I uploaded to YouTube. Like, I have, I probably have half an hour of footage from the FSU game that you guys have never seen before because I, I, it just didn't make the cut. Uh, where is it on my phone? I'm looking on my phone here. I had pictures. I don't know if you guys ever saw this. You guys know Nate? I took a picture with Nate too. Nate wants. He does the YouTube, and he does a lot of Twitter stuff, and he does, like, the funny skits and the shorts and all that stuff. Took a picture with Nate. I don't think I ever shared that anywhere. Uh, what else did we have? What else do we have? We got my man Bryce. I shared the pic of me and Bryce, didn't I? Bryce, really flipping cool dude. He was on Jorn's uh, thing last night. 
Yeah, I was, I was, I was listening. I was listening. I'm always, I'm always around. Uh, we got, uh, I, you guys know this guy, right? You guys know Shelton, don't you? Come on. That was over by, uh, Melissa and her tailgate in the maroon lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bunch of stuff I didn't share from that game last year. Cause again, I tried to remove most of it from my memory. I think y'all know this person, but I don't know for sure. Can you guys tell me if you guys know this person? I'm going to wait and see. Everybody's probably left by now because the simulation's over. I think I recognize her, but I'm not 100% sure. Does anybody know her? I've been trying to track her down since since the game, and I've not been able to... I, I don't... Like, I could have swore that it looked like Hoodie Girl, but she's in a shirt. So I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Y'all tell me. This guy right here was a cool cat. Let me tell you what. This guy... Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can find this. This guy right here was really cool. I cannot remember his name. Let me know if you're in the live chat, man. I feel bad because I cannot remember his name. He was such a freaking cool dude, man. Any picks with uh, Flo? Yeah, yeah. I got... Bro, I got picks with everybody. Um... Uh, you ask, I got to pick with them, bro. I'm not even playing. There's Coop and Flo right there over at his tailgate. I tried to, man, We I, I tailgate hopped. I, I was everywhere and nowhere at the same time. We got, uh, who else we got? Uh, it'd be so much easier to show these on the computer, but right now I just got them on my phone. Big Bam. Man, Big Bam was over there DJing at the casino. And we stopped by and said, what's up? I threw a tip in the tip jar. Come on, man. I took care of him. I took care of my... Uh, uh, that's the guy that did the Coach Coop Show intro. The Coach Coop Show. That's the guy who made it. Literally. Who else did I have? I had Endo Gains. You guys know Endo, don't you? I think most of y'all know Endo. Still trying to figure out who that chick was, though. Uh, man, and I already showed these, but listen, I know I use it on my thumbnail and stuff. All right, y'all, y'all know this guy? I've seen him before. I think I, I've seen him on some kind of show or something. Nah, you know, I'm just playing with you, Melissa. You know, I'm just giving you a hard time. Who is that man? I've seen him somewhere. Oh, here they are. Who are who are these fellers? I'm gonna turn it southern. Who are these fellers right here? Who are those other guys? They came up to me and they were like, "Yo, let's take a picture, bro." And I was like, "Huh?" Listen, guys, I'm just playing. I know who all these people are. I know who all these people are, y'all. I'm just I'm just joking around. Now, this guy, though, I don't know. This guy was, like, begging me to take a picture. And I was like, I guess. But, like, I mean, I guess I'll take the picture. I don't know. Like, I was like, sure. I... I, you know, I was like, yeah, I, I guess, I guess, man. Or, uh, <laughs> this guy too, the same thing. I'm about to stop, Jordan. I don't, it, it's tough crowd tonight. Uh, some people think that I'm being serious. Some people aren't really sure. That, that guy was the same though. He was like, yo, Coop, yo, l let me get a pick. I was like, I guess. All right, well, last one, last one, last one, last one. I mean, the one with Mario is probably, it's deeper in the camera roll, so I'm not going to sit here and bore you guys with that and keep scrolling, but yeah, man, otherwise, other than those, other than those things, I've tried to, 
Don't forget. Oh, you hate when guys use the word chick. My bad, Melissa. My bad, my bad. You know I didn't mean it in a bad way. You still got that pick when Cam was at the game? Wait a minute. You have... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Real quick, though, man. I'm enjoying this small talk. I think I have pictures still from the Alabama game. There was one where I was out front with Cameron Harris's dad. Bro, where's that pick at? Bro, wait wait a minute. Where's that pick at, man? I know I've got it on here somewhere, man. No clue who those last three are? You're sure. You're positive. You don't know who they are. Bro, I had one more I wanted to show y'all, but... There it is. There it is. That was Cameron Harris's dad in the middle. See, Coop, Coop leaves his room sometimes. Sometimes I leave my mom's basement. It's very rare, but I do sometimes. You know? Oh, you sent me another one, Jonathan? Let's go, bro. Let's go with the killer cam. Heck yeah, Jonathan. Wait, where's that? What's in the background right there? Was he at a game? Is that is that at Hard Rock? That's sick, bro. That's sick. You got to make sure you save that in a couple places. That way, if something happens to it, you've always got it. You know, I've had some, I've had that happen sometimes, man, and it sucks. I was going to show you guys that drunk guy that I was sitting beside real quick in case somebody missed it back in the day. This was my intro into my FSU video. And this guy, man, he trash talked me and dogged me for hours. Here we go. Hold up, talk to him, okay? And when Miami wins, you're going to throw it to you and spell it your head. Hold on, hold on. Look at his face. And what you don't see in the video is that's his girlfriend behind him. And his girlfriend was begging him to stop. She was like, please stop. She was like, this guy, she pulled me up on YouTube. Because they didn't, they didn't know that I had the channel covering the canes and stuff. And uh, she pulled me up on YouTube and she was like, do not. She was like, don't make any bets with this guy. She was like, he's going to put you on YouTube. Now, again, it backfired on me because we lost. But it was still funny in the end, you know. Oh man, that you know what that sums it up. Let me just show that one more time. I paused it at the. That's it right there, bro. That literally sums up. You know, it's insane though, guys, because. Is there anyone here who has never been to a Miami Hurricanes game in person? It doesn't have to be hard rock. It can be an away game as well. And th this, I'm not calling anyone out. This is not a bad thing because people have to understand that people have lives. You have jobs. You have people you have to take care of. Not everyone can travel. Not everyone has the funds. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not the fan police, and that does not determine if you're a fan or not. But the point I want to make is what's crazy is the vibes and the energy before kickoff of any game, even when you have a losing season. It's always like in the back of your head, you're like, but maybe. Maybe we take care of business. Like it's the energy, man. You could, you, the energy is just next level, man. Next level. But that right there sums it up. His little smirk. I love that guys, that little smart ass smirk. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was so happy, man. He was so proud of himself that I had to do the chop and 
Hopefully I can link up with that guy again someday. Hopefully I'll see him at another game and the Canes will take care of business. And I can make him throw up the U on camera instead of Coop doing the chop. Uh, it was even more electric at the Orange Bowl. Man, I'm so, so upset I never got to experience that. Every time, Jordan, it's every single game. If you are there at the stadium, it's just energy, energy, man. It's wild. I, I mean, I'm trying. I think we should make it happen. I do think we should make it happen. Yep. So, hey, guys, listen, man. Uh, meditate for life. Owning the board with the top donation tonight. The big fat 10. I appreciate you, bro. Thank you for the love. Uh, we had donations tonight from Chris Gaffney. Multiple donations. Thank you, my man. I think you already hit the door, but I appreciate that. Uh, Tyler, new Canes fan member. Javier, re up in the Canes fan member. Jordan with 15 gifted Canes fan memberships. Unfreaking believable. Absolutely insane. Welcome all the new people to the fam, man. Thank you for the love, Jordan. Uh, Bill, new Canes fan member. Uh, Scotty Digital with a dono tonight. Thank you for the love, bro. Mayhem Matthew, the Georgia fan. Showing some love. Still don't know what uh, uh, Miami sucking 10 misquotes means, but, you know, it is what it is. Chase Hamilton. Uh, Melissa re up in the Canes fan membership. Appreciate you, Melissa. Thank you for that. Uh, Jay Rivera, new Canes fan member. Brandon Frick re up in the Canes fan membership and came for life 75 with the 40 month bomb. Freaking crazy, man. Insane. Tomorrow, guys, I'll be live again at 9 p.m. Same place, same time, except I'll be controlling the team tomorrow. Um, <laughs> um, you know what to do for the outro, right? You know what to do. I love y'all. You know how we end. I need the OGs, the regulars. Show everybody what's up. Teach them a thing or two about how we end these streams. Give me a big, fat, all caps or it doesn't count. <laughs>